Welcome guys to another profile tree video. So today we're going to go through the best website templates. Uh, we're going to go through a rundown on the different website builders as well on what templates they have to offer. And also just to give you a foundation on what website builder you want to use for the website templates for your business. So other than that, we're going to go ahead and get started. So firstly, I want to talk about the website builder and choosing the right one. Now, of course, when comparing website builders, there are a few things to consider to reach the goal for your website. So you got to make sure you're picking the right one as well as that. What template are, gonna, or are you going to use and is it going to be customizable? Is it going to be something you're able to use for your business? Like, will it be, will it be design wise good, functionality wise good, and SEO wise, are you going to be ranking within uh, search engines? On top of that, as well, uh, your end goal, of course, is to have a, a sleek, professional, either online store or it could even be a regular website. So you want to make sure that you tailor it to a specific website builder. So say you're creating a e-commerce site, then there's Shopify, you've got Wix, you've got GoDaddy Squarespace. Now, if you're building a regular website, there's other non-e-commerce um, templates that are tailored to that as well for a website builder, which again is Wix, S Squarespace, you've got Jimdo. Uh, there are just a bunch of different website platforms for that. So Next, of course, uh, for those who are looking for a simple yet attractive blog or basic site, uh, you should go ahead and look into a website builder that has an easy to use interface, as well as that very well designed templates. Uh, you gotta make sure you watch out for drag and drop features. They're the easiest to use. Uh, that means that you're gonna skip all of the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, anything like that, you don't need to worry about it in general coding. Next, uh, for those who are more knowledgeable within the digital industry, and this is URL, uh, redirect services, file managers, FTP managers, MIME types, uh, pretty much look for those that have a complete control uh, over the internal structure of your site. And lastly, for those who want uh, software and scripts, make sure you look for website builders that have the PERL support or Perl support and website backup support. Now, of course, this would be important for some of your templates, especially if you're building it from code up or if you're building it from a website builder, that's something you should consider. Now let's talk about the actual platforms that are available for you. Now. Starting off, we've got Wix. It's a very powerful uh, website builder. So that might be something you'd be interested with uh, when picking out your template for your business. Uh, it's not too overwhelming. It's very, very easy for beginners. Comes with plenty of templates. Got great customer support. I would say that it's a top choice without a doubt for beginners or even pro web developers. Next, we've got Squarespace, and it's also a very popular and great website builder. Uh, has loads of useful features. That can come in very handy for the user, but it can take a while uh, to learn in terms of like location, menus, features, stuff like that. And the builder is also like a cross between drag and drop editor and point and click editor. Next, we've got GoDaddy, which is really good for first timer, uh, first time builders. It requires zero technical skills. You also only answer a few questions and basically builds the site for you, which is great. You can also choose templates if you want to and pr pretty much just go from there. However, GoDaddy doesn't offer as m uh, many design options. This meaning that it's not like a uh, drag and drop editor pretty much you point and click and you'll be able to change text. So that's about what I've known from GoDaddy. We've got Jimdo, which is next, and that helps you 
create personalized sites it might be great for you to pick out some templates there depending whether you want to go for say a blogged website you want to go for a photography website things like that nothing to do with e-commerce this would be the platform for you lastly we have zero there which is a also a great website builder has the lowest prices by far from what i've seen so be sure to take the event uh take advantage of those low costs. However, you do need to agree to a four year contract, but other than that, uh, you get a choice of hundreds of different templates so you can get started. Also, the designs are really, really good. But what I have noticed as well is that their hero sections or images um, are, that are pretty much like full screen. So they use these to nail the designs. Uh, which I don't blame them. Uh, you, of course, mo uh, most of the modern websites have quite big hero sections in order to promote or push the visitor to look at the website. Now, anyway, this is a drag and drop editor and has all the elements you need to build a website. So what are the pros and cons for each of the uh, website builders? Now, of course, uh, d depending on what your business is going to be about you want to consider some of the key factors as well if you want a very very quick website template then by all means all of these offer that however you want to make sure you have a time scale uh, on how long you want to spend on the technological side to your business so there's a lot of things to consider so we're going to go ahead and just go through the pros and cons of each website so coming in, coming in first anyway we've got wix which uh, has a huge list of different templates, has a very versatile editor, great documentation and support, and offers a free version to test the service. So that is, again, one of the better platforms, I believe, for Wix. And then the cons, unfortunately, we've got a very confusing amount of editors. This consists of the artificial design intelligence. You've got Wix editor. You've also got... Um, You've also got Editor X. Three of those are a bit confusing, especially to start off with. So it's understandable why it's a con. Uh, you, there's also very basic SEO features. Designs aren't as responsive as you want it to be, and you can't switch templates once you've picked a template design. So that's one disadvantage to that. So you may want to consider uh, Wix anyway. Next, we've got Squarespace. It's got modern uh, stunning website designs, very user-friendly, good number of apps for added functionality to the site, AMP formatting, limited availability labels for e-commerce. Problem is it lacks the customization freedom, so designs can vary. Fairly expensive for what it is as well, compared to other website builders. And it has limited customer support. So that's some of the pros and cons to consider. GoDaddy, uh, pros of this, it's got 24-7 customer support, great value for introductory plans, uses an artificial design intelligence to create a quick site. So pretty much asks you a couple of questions, uh, you fire them in, and then you get, you get a website built for you. But of course, you can build one from scratch, or you can choose some of the templates available. Now, the cons of this is it has limited app market, very limited customization, very pricey with the add-ons. Next, we've got Jimdo. It has free image library. Can create a custom site within three minutes. So pretty much the same as GoDaddy. You've got personal website assistance as well. So 24-7 help. And it, it's very extremely easy to use. Problem is, there's no blog functionality. No app store to add. Enhanced functionality to the site. Which is a bit unfortunate because... That means that if you want to increase like um, your SEO, you're not able to do so since there is no app store. So that means you're not able to enhance the, basically the ranking of the site as well as that no app store to enhance, of course, the functionality of that site. Now, no backup for the site as well. And you've got template restrictions, which is a bit unfortunate since Jimdo is a very good website builder. Lastly, we've got Xero, which is great for beginners. It's got SSL encryption, a drag and drop editor, very easy to use as well. 
Cons to this is you can't switch to another template once you've picked. Lack of advanced features, no real-time support for free plan, and no access to code editing. So that pretty much sums up the different website builders. Of course, there are a couple of more or quite a few more website builders out there, which you can choose for templates. But now what I want to do is since we've run through the pros and cons, I'm going to go ahead and show you the different template options that you can pick. And we're going to start off with Wix. Now, what I love about Wix is the thousands of templates that you can choose from. Uh, as you can see, we've even got areas for business and services. So there's a whole section there for business, a whole section for health and wellness, section for beauty and hair, fashion and style, travel and tourism, restaurants and food, landing pages, and even a professional CV. So of course you could show off, uh, especially if you're applying for a job, you can go ahead and create a website built by a uh, website builder on Wix. So there's a lot of things that you can modify as well. So you could choose the template out and edit it or view it. So get a feel for it pretty much. Now, if you are a e-commerce website, there are a bunch of different options for you as well. If you select store, you can get a category for it with, uh, from fashion and clothing, jewelry and accessories, arts and crafts, home and decor, beauty and wellness, food and drinks, sports and outdoors, electronics, kits and babies, books and publishers, pets and animals, and CBD. Now, of course, there are different ones there as well uh, for if you're creating a photography website, um, a design website, so that's like architecture, art and illustration. There's one creative arts, music, portfolio and CV, and video. Uh, it's pretty much endless, which is great for the templates. Now, of course, if you don't choose the one that you like, you can go ahead and select the blank template. So it, it as well as, um, of course, as well as building a website from scratch, it's great to always have an option to pick for templates. Now, that's something that's always considered. Of course, if you don't have any ideas on building a website from scratch, great, just use the all uh, templates area and just pick from whatever's closest to your category. Or if there isn't anything there in your category, you can go ahead and just click on one and modify it to how you would want. Or of course there's blank templates there and you could just pick one there if you don't have a category and just base it out of that. So that pretty much sums up uh, the templates within Wix. And again, very, very great website builder recommended for beginners, intermediate designers and pro web developers. So by all means, go ahead and check out Wix. So next we're gonna go ahead and move on to Squarespace and I'll go ahead and move my screen. Now with Squarespace, it is a little bit limited uh, compared to Wix within the different templates that you can get. However, you still have a good amount of choices to pick. Uh, as you can see, there's one for online stores. So you can create e-commerce websites, you can create regular websites. That's based on your option and what you wanna do. So there's online store, portfolio, memberships, blogs. We'll go ahead and select one actually, instead of speaking through them. We'll go ahead and select photography and you can see there's a couple of best template matches there. You can even build your own template. So uh, just be aware, especially if you have used Squarespace before or you're just coming back to it, there has been a couple of layout changes in terms of navigation. Now there used to be a used uh, blank template around the area in this section here within the filter. Uh, now it's to select it here, which is build your own template. So you can pretty much create um, a blank website like this, or you can create a site like this. So that's primarily up to yourselves, depending on whether you're creating a regular site or an e-commerce site. Uh, by all means, Squarespace is another great website builder for looking for templates. But keep in mind that it does have uh, lower uh, templates to choose from compared to Wix. So it may vary you from your design options. Now we'll check out GoDaddy and we'll see the different uh, templates that they've got. So as you can see, they've got areas there for coming soon, fashion and beauty, home services, online stores. So again, it's the same as Wix and Squarespace where it's an e-commerce site, as well as that they do provide templates for regular websites, which is great, especially if you're a beginner. Um, GoDaddy, I believe, is one of the best uh, 
website builders for those who are less technical. And this is one of the websites that I have created within the space of a couple of minutes. So we'll wait till this loads. So as you can see with this one, this one has been created in less than three minutes and I'm able to add sections in. It even gives me a display of what I want to put in so I can have some general, say I wanted to add an about, I can go ahead and add them in. One click and it drags that section over as you can see. So it's a very simple editing tool and again, one of the ones that I recommend for first time beginners. So next I want to go ahead and showcase Jimdo and Jimdo I believe has a lot to offer as well. So similarly it looks around, uh, like Squarespace almost but there are a couple of issues with it. Um, there isn't really much to, well as well as SEO which is an issue so it's probably one to avoid in terms of SEO ranking. If you are creating a personal website for yourself, I think that this is a great place to start. And you even get a selection of different templates. So that's one to choose from as well. So here's one there. Uh, these are some of the uh, custom ones there. And I can even choose uh, categories there, uh, which allows me to build an e-commerce website or just a regular website. So pretty much you can go ahead and skip the step if you wanted to, and you could just pick some of the templates that they have out. So one to consider, uh, Jimdo, if you want to go ahead and check it out and build a site for yourself. Now, lastly, what I want to showcase here is Zyro. Now, Zyro is another really good website builder for templates. Now, of course, there's an option there for e-commerce. You can even pick out all templates and you're able to see a bunch of different options there. Now, this acts a lot like Wix. Uh, so as you can see, it relies a lot of on the hero sections and it does full build websites. However, it is still a great little trick, especially since the website looks very modern, as well as that looking very minimalistic. And if I go ahead and preview this, uh, we have three different options, unlike Wix there. That's one to compare to, which we have a desktop, a tablet and a mobile optimization to view all different uh, sizes and to see how it responds to it. Now if I wanted to as well I can go ahead and start building on a website if I wanted to. Uh, if I click on a template it just loads me up into it straight away and uh, you can see how very similar it looks to Wix so especially if you're a Wix builder uh, you could probably go ahead and use Zyro without having any difficult uh, troubles. Uh, as you can see, I'm able to move this about. It even has a bunch of blue uh, squares in the background to assist me with measurements. So that's technically like the little ruler there. And everything snaps into place, which is great as well. And I'm able to also add sections in just like normal. So I could add this in if you, I wanted to, or I could just remove it. Either or, it's uh, an easy platform to use. Uh, and as I said, there are a lot of different templates to choose from using Xero. Okay, so that is pretty much all I can talk about within this video. Uh, again, there are different platform uh, website builders out there, so go and check them out. Please do. Um, Hopefully this video has helped you. Hopefully it's a foundation for what you want to explore within different platforms or if you want to try out the platforms that I've tried out here, by all means go ahead. If you have any questions at all or if I've missed anything, let us know in the comment section below. Uh, other than that, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much.